Tile roofed and low, it meekly stands, the loving work of loving hands. So begins a poem about the garden church, the chapel of the trees, the San Francisco Swedenborgian Church, completed in 1895, now celebrating its 125th anniversary, a National Historic Landmark. In the gilded age of gold rush wealth, lavish mansions, prideful ostentation, and the corruption that material wealth often brings, this simple place of worship and quiet refuge for reflection was born of thrift, humility, and devotion to Swedenborg's teachings about living a life dedicated to the good, the true, and useful service to each other. Every detail of its design, materials, construction, and furnishings were thoughtfully chosen and hand-wrought by artisans inspired with a reverence for nature and simplicity to reflect true inner beauty from good intentions, care, diligence, and persistence through the trials of faith and enduring love. Truths that transcend a life a place, a time in history. And so the entire church, garden, and ministry are full of Swedenborg's teachings if one but has eyes to see and ears to hear, so that one may drink of the fount of truth in the Word and be fulfilled by the lessons the church was designed to teach. That spirit of devotion has been the pillar of strength for many ministers who served here through many varying times of economic challenge, social tumult, and abundant prosperity, reflecting the life of the city it serves. And when many were denied services by other ministries in a prejudiced society, this church opened itself to serving the spiritual needs of all people, and has for many decades without regard to race, creed, gender, or sexual preference. Historic times, courageous devotion and love, all these make landmarks in life, and all these make a place that transcends time and space by being a beacon of Swedenborg's teachings of divine love and wisdom. (laughs) 